for being with us as we talk about the State of the City address today. Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb calling the future of the city bright, discussing everything from public safety to lakefront development. Our Verify reporter Stephanie Haney takes a look at some of the claims Mayor Bibb said today. But we begin with our Kai Torque, who was at that address in Playhouse Square. This is how we solve cases and save lives in our city. Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb declaring public safety as his top priority in his State of the City address Thursday, giving credit to his RISE initiative, raising investment in safety for everyone for hundreds of felony arrests and scores of guns taken off the streets. Homicides were down last year for the second year in a row. And since the pandemic, homicides have decreased by 14%. The mayor said Cleveland government has fallen short when it comes to protecting renters from absentee landlords, which is why last month city officials passed Residents First, a comprehensive housing reform package which in part closes loopholes that predatory landlords have been abusing. Today, whether you live in New York or Belgium, to rent property in our city, you have to identify an actual human being who lives in the county to be held responsible for the property. Predatory landlords have been getting a free ride in Cleveland. Those days are over. Bibb is also expecting Cleveland to be dramatically reshaped now that city council has approved his shore-to-core-to-shore -to -to -shore strategy, which will take a portion of increased property tax value and redevelop the Lake Erie and Cuyahoga River waterfronts. The TIF district has the potential to generate between 3.3 to $7.5 billion over the next 40 years. Many in attendance wondered if the mayor would address recent talks by the owners of the Cleveland Browns in their decision to either renovate the stadium downtown on the lakefront or build a completely new one out in the suburbs. But the mayor didn't make any comments on that today. Russ Christie. All right, Kai Tor, thank you so much. We appreciate it. I want to get to Stephanie Haney now as well to verify some of those things, uh, not just that he said, but that actually happened inside the theater today, right, Stephanie? That's right, Christy. Yes, a few things came up during Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb's State of the City speech today. First, there was this moment when someone in the audience yelled out to Mayor Bibb that he has not rescinded support of Israel. This is referring to the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip. So. We found this social media post from Mayor Bibb. On October 7th, that was the day that Hamas attacked and killed hundreds of people during a Jewish holiday in Israel. He said then, quote, Cleveland stands in solidarity with Israel in the face of terror and condemns these acts of evil. Now, we did reach out to Bibb's team today to make sure we didn't miss anything from the mayor between then and now. So we're calling the claim that he hasn't rescinded support for Israel unconfirmed for now. Now, next, during a speech, Mayor Bibb said that with 52 new cadets just welcomed into training at the police academy, quote, this class is larger than the previous four classes combined. Well, the Cleveland Department of Public Safety shared these numbers with us from the last four classes. They show a total of 55 recruits and 45 total in those four graduating classes. So a little nuance here, differentiating between the starting class size and the graduating class size. And with that clarification, we are verifying that what the mayor said about the size of this latest class of recruits is true. Now, last year, as Kaitor touched on, the mayor said this about homicides in the city. Homicides have decreased by 14 percent, 14 percent. And our homicide solve rate is currently close to 80 percent. Now, the Cleveland Department of Public Safety told us homicide rates dropped from a 180 in 2020 to 154 in 2023. That's defined by the National Incident Based Reporting Systems, or NIBRS. So, yes, that is a 14 percent decrease since the pandemic. Now, they also told us last year the homicide unit resolved 125 of 154 homicide cases for an almost 81 percent solve rate. So we can tell you there that the mayor was right on with those numbers as well. And we want to remind you, if you see a claim from someone and you want us to verify whether it's true or false, you can email us that at verify at WKYC.com. You can also text us at 216-344-3300. All right, Stephanie, thanks for digging through all that. Appreciate it.